Yeah, John, uh, important game for both clubs today. Uh, how do you assess the part your players played in it? You would like to think that you could just put it behind you, but at this time of the season, and as you say, it was something so important. If we win the day, you know, we were home and dry, and that was us. To put a performance like that on, you know, it's, uh, it's embarrassing. I really feel sorry. For, uh, I'll, I'll have to apologise to the supporters. And I don't know, uh, do, you, do you blast them in one game to go? What do you do? Can you take it? I don't know, it's society nowadays, but we never turned up. We never turned up. And to be honest, we were struggling a wee bit with a right midfielder. The boy Davidson's been off for 10, 12 days with a virus. And uh, the boy Matthews that plays in there is uh, suspended. So Danny Hanlon had to play in there. And then we sort of says to ourselves, right, we'll come up with a wee quirky shape. It's all within 10 yards each other. It breaks down there, we'll get there. He can get there, he can get there. But gave us a great overload in midfield to go and pass it. And I thought in the first 20 minutes, if we got on the ball and passed it, we could have played round about them and really got, got on the front foot. But for some unknown reason, we don't want to pass it. And then it was set up as well to get to people second balls. And the first goal, it goes, it falls down second balls, it gets played forward. My voter should have done better and it's in the back of your net. So we're not even on the second balls and just try to turn them and try to turn them. But the most, the next one, free kick, you know, instead of standing up and taking one right foot in the dish, like you do, they've turned their back on it and deflects in the goal. But if you look at the fourth goal, and it'll sum us up, and we get a free kick, Declan McManus and Thompson's over it, and they go and hit it. The goalie saves it, four passes later, it's in the back of the net, and they two are still arguing in the midfield. That just sums it all up for me, you know. So, as I say, desire and, uh, and society nowadays, I've said to them after the game, everything starts, you have to be humble. Not just humble on the pitch, you have to be humble. I find it very difficult to control the ball, pass it to my teammate, get it back, pass it again. So why you want to stick your head above the parapet and hang your something at your nose until you can do that? Anything you get, you're going to graft for, you're going to work for. I just think I've got boys that I think are better than they are and forget to go and do the, the hard work because we were out worked, out fought the day. And uh, if we're not passing it and looking after the ball and making them work, then we have to go into toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and we were second best all over the pitch. One game to go. Uh, it's another big game, clearly. Air United at home next week. Um, you must win that one and see what else happens elsewhere. But we've been saying that, you know, you guys say this is a six pointer. It's been like that since I come in, you know, and uh, what you're trying to do is you're trying to galvanise, you're trying to, you know, um, some of them, you know, as I say to them, some of them players in terms of character can you handle it. So you, you've had to go about it in a different way and telling them they're great and they're brilliant. So maybe it's my fault. Maybe a few home truths need to be told in terms of what's required. Too many boys out there, nearly men, we nearly got there. I've got a sweat on, but I'll nearly get there. Come on, Desi, we've all read the book of football. I'm secret in that book of football. I've read it for the last 35 years. Don't kick me on. You either get there or you don't get there. You get there with a desire and a will. That's what we might take next week, a desire and a will, wear your heart on your sleeve to go and win a football match. And hopefully, you know, they'll learn for this today and they can bring it, certainly bring it next week. We're at home, we've got a good home record and uh, hopefully we can go and pick up the points. No be easy. Air United's new mugs, Ian McCall, you know Colley. There are no mugs, they've got players in that team. It's certainly got a game for Rafe Rovers, so it's right at this moment it's 50-50. Only advantage we're at home. Hopefully the supporters get right behind us and we can uh, go and win it. Last thing to say, society and football. The Rafe Rovers fans that turn up, the people that work in the office, the kit man, all these guys that are Rafe Rovers through and through, they care. They care. I think footballers nowadays, it doesn't really matter. What does it matter? Because whatever happens, I'll go away and get myself somewhere else and all that stuff. Why? No, if the next manager phones me up, they'll know. That's for sure. Honesty. Eh? Jo John, you're honest. You're honest right to the very end. We wish you all the best, pal. Thank Cheers, you very much. Pal. Cheers.